Suppose if I have two CMOS inverters, say this is my CMOS inverter one, and this is my CMOS inverter two, and suppose input here was 1.6, and input here was 1.8, and this was nothing but my output capacitance. Okay, a quick question for all of you. When it's 1.6, we understand it's nothing but logic value high. When it's 1.8, we understand it's logic value high. So both the NMOSs are on, that is very, very clear. Now, which ID, ID of inverter A or ID of inverter B would be more? Or in simple words, which of the current would be able to discharge the output capacitance faster or which output will reach zero fast? Very simple. ID is directly proportional to VGS. In this case of inverter A and B, source is grounded. So I can say that ID is proportional to VG. That means the transistor which has gate voltage more will have a higher ID or in simple words will be able to discharge its output capacitance faster or will read zero faster than the other one. In this case, it's going to be inverter B will have ID going or discharging its output capacitance to zero faster than ID of A. Now let's go back to our previous circuit. Here, X is at 1.6, Y is at 1.8, N9 and N10 being both on, we know N9 is getting 1 is getting Y at its input, that's correct, and N10 is getting X at its input. So in simple words, N9 is getting 1.8 at its input and N10 is getting 1.6 at its input. So node X or node Y, which one do you think will be able to go to point 0.9 or even 0 first? As we discuss in the analogy, because N9 has input 1.8, it will be moving first towards 0, move first towards 0 compared to node X. And when this is going to happen, What's going to happen is x will be interpreted as logic 0. This 0 will go here. The PA transistor will turn on. Y will be able to have a perfect 1. This 1 will go back to this inverter. N9 will strongly turn on and will keep x to 0. So now what we need to do is very, very simple. Just put a probe here and just put a probe here externally and when you see that x is 0 and y is 1 you will be able to make out that a was initially written with a value 0 and b was initially written with a value 1 and that is what we have done we have amplified a small difference in voltage on bit and bit bar line by using a circuit called a sense amplifier which is also called as differential amplifier and this difference has been amplified by the circuit and hence we can easily do the read operation very very interesting isn't it so stay tuned for further concepts and lectures i hope you have enjoyed this thank you very much